A big thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, and a big thanks to all of these donators of $5 or more. Brian D0313, Dead Zergling, Radio Raptor, and Vlad Tepish3176. You all helped make these episodes possible. Howdy, insufferable gaming fans. Your old pal Rosser here, back for some more Castlevania Orchestra of Despair. Last time. We made it to Dracula, but, and it's a big but, we have no whip extensions with which to defeat him this time. So, everything is very difficult. However, I am up for the challenge, says I. You believe me, right? I like to think that I can uh, do this. If I try hard enough, and if I believe hard enough, and maybe, possibly, if I get through it without taking too much damage, that's uh, the iffy part right there. Especially if I don't have the timing down, which I certainly don't yet, because... You know, it's been a while since I played. I'm a little bit out of practice. It was last week when last we left off. But I can devote this entire time to getting it right. And hopefully that's what'll happen. I didn't get that right, though. Because whenever Dracula appears right on top of you, you have to run the way he's facing or you will take a hit. Maybe it would just be better for me if I kept moving. That could be the case. Then again, when I do that, bad things sometimes happen to me. Often happen to me. Okay, well, you know, we've got, uh, I was gonna see if maybe there was a secret over here like there is in Super Castlevania. There isn't. But it would have been neat if there had been, right? That would have been just, uh, super helpful and great. Now, how do I want to play this? Hmm. I seem to be getting more hearts this time, which is cool. Let's try this with Mr. Boomerang. Because I could possibly use that to stay far away from his second form. If I can get to his second form, which, you know, it's iffy at best. Ah, well. I really need that doubler that I was talking about before, but I don't fully understand how to get it. It wasn't like that, I'll tell you that right now. Nor that. I feel like if I could focus on trying to get the doubler, and I can also make it to the second form, I'd have a really good chance of uh, beating it out. That's the trick, isn't it? Not getting a whole awful lot of um, good stuff here. Hearts. Ah, that was a miss. Damn it. Wait, did that hit him? Well, I got my doubler and I got a whip extension, so, um, we just found a new method of doing this shit. I am, frankly, amazed that that worked, and I will be, uh, trying to nail down whatever I did that time. I like this. I like this a lot. So it seems like I basically... Just uh, toss that holy water at his feet, and it happened to take out some fireballs. This is this is very cool. I like it. Ah, I don't. I didn't like that though. That was rough. Got to get back into the swing of things. Got to flail about and smack him in the noggin. Dent that skull for him before I send it into orbit. 
Yeah! Ah, oh, I was cursed my metal hide, I wasn't fast enough. Oh well. We have a new strategy to try. A, a new a new day, a new strategy. Yoink! That didn't, uh, do anything for me. That did. I wonder if I can repeat that. Double whip extension! Well, hell yeah, that's, uh, that's really useful. This is, this is perfect. If I'd known it was that easy, I would have tried this sooner, but I didn't. That's uh, a very interesting quirk of this fight, and I'm glad that we've established it. Very cool, very cool. So now you all know the secret method to uh, using holy water in the first form fight. It has been previously known only to everyone else who knew that, but never told me. Which could be a few. I don't know. I tend to try to avoid walkthroughs for games until I absolutely, positively have to use them. Because I like going through these things blind. You know, give a sense of real accomplishment. Yeah! Wow, this could be a short episode. I hope not. But at the same time, you know... It would be hilarious if I nailed it this fast after having that much trouble with it before. Well, what do you know? I'm a little bit surprised that that went so well. I, I'm, I'm quite amazed. We're only uh, seven minutes in, so... I guess uh, I should try doing the second loop and see how far I get on that. This was a pretty fun, uh, fun little Castlevania hack. Produced by Tech Hacks, directed by Dr. Mario. Music by James Banana. The cast, Dracula, Christopher Lee. Hey, they fixed shit. Bella Lugosi, Boris Karloff. They're paying proper homage to the actors. Barbara Sherry, Lon Chaney Jr. Max Shrek, Lon Chaney Sr., of course. Green Stranger and Cafe Bear Reed, Andre Normal, Joan Candies. I guess they uh, couldn't figure those ones out. Or maybe there are actors called those names and I'm not aware of them. I should probably do some research on that. I do love classic horror and contemporary horror, but my favorite era in horror is of what I started off on stage 19. Or did I always start off on stage 19? I don't know. But anyway, my favorite era in horror is, of course, 80s-style slasher flicks. They're the best, in my opinion. Well, I mean, not, the, not objectively the best, just, you know, kind of what I grew up with. You know, hanging out with my friends on the weekends, and we'd each take turns renting two horror movies from the local shop. And we got all this, you know, cheesy schlock from the VHS rental. And, you know, every once in a while we'd see one that was really good that I'd... Well, or so bad it's good that, um... That uh, it would stick with me to this day. That's where I first saw Evil Dead 2, Dead by Dawn with Bruce Campbell. Which is my favorite one in the trilogy. But uh, they're all pretty good. Um, 
I also saw movies that were so bad they were awful. I forget the exact title, but it was something called something like Wendell or Wendigo Wrath of the Frost Spider or Frostbiter Wrath of the Wendigo or Wrath of the Frostbiter Wendigo or something like that, but it was pretty bad. But um it it may have been deliberately bad, honestly. I'm not sure. Of course I would get hit after I pick up the turkey. Um, of course I love, uh, love the, uh, I love the, uh, Friday the 13th, the Nightmare on Elm Street series, and, um, you know, uh, and, and some of, some of the series that, uh, are a little weirder that I like, uh, I love the Phantasm series with Angus Scrim playing the tall man. That's a trip of a movie, if you've never seen it. And, let's see... What else? I'm sure there's plenty of others that I could think of. Ah! Damn you, Spider-Man! Or, maybe he's just a spider! Ah! Got it! Uh, how about you throw that in the right direction? Huh. Didn't quite make it on that one. Let's see, other series. Um, the first few Hellraiser movies were pretty good. Uh, you know, they they uh, they fluctuated between actually good and so bad they're good. But then most classic horror fran or slasher franchises have done that. I can't say they're classic horror because they're really not. They're pure schlock. Um, and uh, let's see. What's what's that one series? Um, Wishmaster. That had some really appealing villain in it. Not the not the greatest movie, but uh, I love the way that the actor played the evil Jin or genie. Uh, Leprechaun with Warwick Davis as the titular character and. I want to say Jennifer Aniston, but I might be wrong on that one. It's it's one of those uh, one of those female actresses that uh, you know was like really popular later. Of course, the original Nightmare on Elm Street had uh, the debut of Johnny Depp, but uh, most people already knew that one. Hmm. What else can I say about classic slasher flicks? Oh, of course there's the Child's Play series with the evil doll Chucky. That's a good one. Um... Hmm. Do I know any more weird, obscure facts? Not really, I don't guess. We gotta do something about these Medusa heads. They're causing a ruckus. And I can't afford to get hit with too many more ruckus eye. Oh, the ruckus eye. Oh, of course, what was I thinking? Other uh, great movies of the era that I like the best. Uh, you can't talk about those without mentioning the Alien franchise. You know, Alien, Aliens. Aliens 3, not so much. Uh, you know, after that, it got kind of, uh, schlocky, but, you know, sometimes that's okay. Son of a bitch. I'm taking an absolute pounding here. Now, a lot of people say that a series, you know, once it goes into space... That's when it's the absolute end. However, that being said, I thought that uh, Jason X was way better than Jason Goes to Hell. Because that was terrible in very and had very few redeeming qualities. Whereas Jason X was a great horror comedy. And if, if you don't know what I'm talking about with horror comedy... Um, you know, stuff like Evil Dead 2, or, um, let's see, I want to say Waxworks 2. 
Surprisingly enough, Waxworks 2 also had Bruce Campbell in a comedic role. I don't remember Waxworks 1, and it might have actually been Waxworks 1 that I'm thinking of, but it's been so long since I've seen him. You know, long time coming. Ah! Stupid head. It got me. It got me. Cut me deep. That's alright. I can try this again. And if you- and, uh, Leprechaun in space was, you know, deliberately cheesy and funny. Uh, when Hellraiser went to space, not so good. I don't know if anyone else has been to space in the horror franchises I like. Uh, I can't think of any right off the bat, but there probably are some. Now, if you're talking about just, you know, one-off horrors that are set in space, you've got Event Horizon, which was pretty trippy. It's, you know, if you're into Warhammer 40k, Event Horizon will really uh, speak to you about the dangers of warp travel. At least that's how some of my friends described it, and I buy that. I've played a little bit of Warhammer 40k over the years. Very little, but some. I play the Orcs, man. Orcs all the way. I wish I wish I hadn't gotten that dagger. You know what? Let's make a break for it, people. We gotta get up this ladder. Stairs. Slayers Adder. Speaking of adders, uh, the British comedy Black Adder is a great one. If we're switching gears here, because I'm running out of horror related things to talk about. Uh, Black Adder with Rowan Atkinson. Or is it Atkins? I think it's Atkinson. The guy who plays Mr. Bean. Uh, I like Black Adder even better. Because he gets to actually, uh, you know, joke around and stuff, you know, make, you know, more subtle comedy. Not that uh, Mr. Bean isn't doesn't have its subtleties, I, but I just haven't seen as much of it. My grandpa loved Mr. Bean, but I haven't really seen that much of it myself. Okay, made it through there somehow. Damn it, that just barely clipped my... the tippy tip of my cowlick. Okay. Shit! I panic jumped. Now, as far as comedy goes, though, you know, much like slasher horror, you know, 80s and 90s sitcoms were my bread and butter growing up. My absolute favorite out of all of them was Married with Children, because for a long time, I thought it was a documentary. Old Al Bundy, Ed O'Neill. You know, they would never make a show like that today, but, uh, because people would get all offended and shit, but the whole point of the show at the time was that it was supposed to show a negative view of that kind of thing. But they did it in a way that wasn't, you know, that wasn't, I don't know, they, they, they didn't, they didn't, uh, dilute the humor, they didn't pull any punches, and it was actually funny. You know, they didn't try to have heartwarming lessons, they didn't try to, you know, make it seem like the family really loved each other at the end of the day, it was just pure, in-your-face hatefulness. Some other sitcoms from around that time that I liked that uh, you wouldn't expect me to have watched were uh, both The Golden Girls and um, Mama's Family. Let's see, Mama's Family had uh, Vicki Lawrence and Carol Burnett. The Golden Girls, of course, B. Arthur and uh, Betty White and whoever played Blanche. I can't remember, so sorry about that right off the bat if Blanche is your favorite character. But, you know, for some reason, those sitcoms about old ladies were just really good. 
you know, watched a lot of Roseanne because it came on right before Married with Children, but it really jumped the shark at the end. And not in the fun way like you like. Alright, I need to buckle down and make it through this level. Or this is going to get embarrassing. Focus, focus, focus. Ah! Medusa heads. You always do that to me. And I always fall for it. What is up with that? Why can I not dodge these things? Ever. Well, that, uh... Gives me something to work with, at least. Now, if I could just find some handy-dandy wall meat... Nope. Not gonna happen today, is it? That didn't even... Oh, I thought he was dead. Alas, he was not. Hmm. What else can be said? You know, usually I talk about video games, so this time I was talking about television. I hardly watch any television at all these days because, you know, ev everything good is pretty much on YouTube. You know, I like watching video game related channels and most of my friends do that too and you know, every once in a while I'll watch something. Of course I watched uh, Ash vs. the Evil Dead on Stars, I believe it was. And um, I haven't been keeping up with Game of Thrones lately, but I read all the books and I do enjoy the show, so I'll catch up on it when I get a chance. It could be a while, since, you know, I don't uh, have access to the TV most of the time. You know, just exclusive access. I've got to take into consideration what everyone else wants to watch, and they have terrible taste in shows. But, uh, you know, you do what you do. I'll have a week to myself sometime, and I'll just spend it marathoning all the things that I like, which is really just the one thing, so... There's... that. You know, sitcoms these days just don't seem to have any balls. Which is a shame, because you could do a lot with the genre if you only had the courage to say what everyone's thinking about any given subject. But nope. We're, we have a great divide here in the U.S. of A, where half the people get pissed off at one thing, and the other half get pissed off at the other thing, so... Everybody's pretty much pitted one against the other, and nobody's happy about it anything these days, and that's why everything's going to pot. But what can you do, right? The people keep voting the way they want, and it just keeps going back and forth, and... It very rarely works out for the benefit of anyone. It'll happen again. But, again, you know, there, there aren't... It's not like there's a whole lot of better alternatives out there. People, people like to say, well, if so-and-so wins, I'm going to move to Canada or whatever. No, you're not. No, you're not. You say you are, but you're not. But that's okay, because if you're really serious about not liking the way the country's going, moving to another country isn't going to help fix it. All that means is, whatever you didn't like about it gets to prolificate, so if you're serious about making a change, actually make a change. I'm not going to tell you which side I'm on, because I waffle back and forth pretty frequently. But what I do know is that we've got to start getting along here in the good old U.S. of A. people. But that's about as political as you'll ever hear me get. I try not to, you know, espouse one philosophy over the other, because that is poison to a YouTube channel. Unless that YouTube channel is deliberately going for a political demographic. In which case, you know, death threats and hate mail will be forthcoming. And I don't need that. 
I don't need death threats and hate mail. I've been almost killed enough times as it is. Plenty of times. Enough times to curl your hair, people. I've been burnt, beaten, almost shot, uh, almost drowned, uh, electrocuted a couple of times. Um, let's see. Nearly explosively decapitated. Nearly blown up. A lot of close calls. But I power through it. Now I wish I could just power through this level. That'd be great. Getting a whip extension is going to be the first step, I think. Boomerang would be nice, too. I'm just gonna throw one out there and see if it works. It didn't, but it could've. Get me out of here! That somehow worked. Let's, uh... Just, uh, get while the getting's good, eh? I do not like the Medusa heads. I cannot stress that enough. I haven't stressed that enough. I've said it a million times and I'll say it a million more. They're just objectively the worst. Some people say the birds are worse. Not me. I'm a head hater. That probably could be phrased a little better. I'm not going to phrase it any better, but it could be. I wonder if I'll make it to the boss this time. Maybe. Ah, oh, you had to get that one last lick in, didn't you, game? Just one last up yours to me. I think you're throwing the Medusa heads on a little thick here, game. You know, I don't want to tell you how to run your business, but uh, you need to run your business different. I'm not sure that this game was actually uh, designed to go to uh, be possible in the second loop. If it was, I'd be very surprised. Ah, oh, that was entirely my bad. All the way back at the beginning? Well, that ain't too nice. That was mean of you, game. Droll. Very droll. Boom. And up the stairs. Whee! Ah! Holy water. That would be really useful for the boss. If I ever got to the boss. Maybe this will be the time. Maybe. We'll see. This is gonna have to be my last attempt, though. Because we're rapidly running out of... the time. Hard times. I'm just, uh, not even worried about it. Boom. Alright. Go forth. Make rapid progress. I am surprised that I that missed me. Here comes another one, right? And we made it. We've even got an extra hit this time. Well, shit. That was sad for me. Very depressing. Ah. Yep. Down, down I go. I wish that jump were a little less um, sticky in terms of actually making it through it. 
wonder if I could damage boost. Nope. That was probably a fool-ish thing to try. Yep, 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 yep. Not the best. Not the best. I was talking to some friends about old, uh, old Nickelodeon shows that were on when I was a kid. Stuff like Salute Your Shorts and The Adventures of Pete and Pete and You Can't Do That on Television. Great, uh, great trip down memory lane. A few of them still hold up today. The Adventures of Pete and Pete certainly does. That was a great show. They don't make them like that anymore, man. I mean, they try to make them like that, but it comes off as, you know, trying too hard. It was like the whole quirkiness for the sake of quirkiness was a new concept back when Pete and Pete came out, so nowadays all the shows try to do it and it co just comes off as tired. Why did I... why did that happen? I need to do this better. That, that's the trick to beating Castlevania. Be better at it. Really? I missed that one too, huh? Ha! You stuck! Got stuck up in the air. I got stuck by a Medusa head. I want that. I don't care. 4,000 points. Shit! I paid for my... greed. My avarice. We sure have talked about a lot of weird stuff since I foolishly, um... Foolishly, um... Beat Dracula too quickly. But it did make me feel good to beat him. It always makes me feel good when I complete a Castlevania game, because a lot of them are genuinely difficult, yet fair. It's, it's, you know, it, it's a good challenge. It's a good classic, it's a good challenge of classic video gaming skills. But not completely impossible. Although, at times, it does feel completely... Ah, you know what? I bet the stopwatch would be just the thing to get past those mashers. Well, if I ever try it again, I'll know what to do. But I think we're done for now. So, thank you all for watching. Thank you, Mr. Vlad Tepish, for sponsoring this uh, series. And until next time, this has been your old pal Rosser. Take a drink.